This step-by-step -step Western blotting video will show you how to get better results by doing exactly what you do today, by using the ECL Prime Blotting Reagent. Mike will take you step-by-step -step through Western blotting, giving you all the tips and tricks you need to get the best from Amersham ECL Prime. Hi, Amersham ECL Prime is a great Western blotting reagent. It enables you to detect minute quantities of proteins using very little of your precious antibody. The intense signal it gives lasts an extremely long time, adding flexibility to your Western blotting workflow. It works with almost all standard protocols for chemiluminescent reagents. We find it better than all the other product options we have tried. After completing the electrophoresis of your sample, simply continue to use your own standard Western blotting protocol. There are three areas for you to consider before you start. It is important that the sample is of good quality and that the gel is loaded optimally. Select the electrophoresis and transfer conditions depending on protein size and characteristics. Prepare the gel for blotting by trimming excess gel. Equilibrate in transfer buffer for 10 minutes to maintain the shape of the gel. I will now take you quickly through a Western blotting procedure, beginning with building the sandwich and highlighting key issues. Step 1. Let's look at preparing the membrane and building the transfer sandwich. Use the High Bond P blotting membrane. It has high capacity and is very robust, making stripping and reprobing easy. You must pre-wet the membrane in methanol. This is true for all PVDF membranes. To avoid errors, always orientate the gel and membrane sandwich with the anode towards you. One corner can be cut off to help with orientation. Always use a blotting membrane of the same size and shape as the gel. Never leave air bubbles in the sandwich. Use a roller to squeeze them out. Or use a cut down pipette or glass rod. Step 2. After transferring the proteins, the free sites on the membrane must be blocked. Followed by first adding the primary, then the secondary antibodies. Transfer the proteins to the membrane. Confirm the transfer by looking at the membrane with transferred rainbow marker. If it looks like this, you're doing well. Next, block the free sites on the membrane using an appropriate reagent, such as ECL Prime Blocking Reagent. This normally takes one hour at room temperature. Use this time to prepare the primary and secondary antibodies. Dilute your primary antibody with PBST. If working with phosphorylated proteins, you must use TBST. Always select specific antibodies of high quality and optimize the dilution in the range of 1 to 1,000 to 1 to 50,000. ECL Prime keeps precious primary antibody use to a minimum. After incubating the membrane in the primary antibody for one hour at room temperature, the membrane is incubated in an appropriate HRP labeled secondary antibody. When using ECL Prime, the secondary antibody can be diluted in the range of 1 to 50,000 to 1 to 200,000. Now we can think about detection. Step 3. Now we are ready to use ECL Prime. It really is the ideal choice for detection in Western blotting. It works really well with all detection methods. Prepare the detection reagent according to instructions. Allow it to warm up to room temperature in the dark. Make certain the entire membrane is covered with reagent. Incubate the membrane for five minutes at room temperature. Drain and place on a clean, smooth surface, such as plastic film. Now you are ready for detection. X-ray film can be used, but a CCD imager with high sensitivity and broad dynamic range is a better choice for detection. There is no time pressure. The reaction is instant and the signal will last for hours. Step 4. We can now enjoy the power of our CCD imager. Place the membrane into the CCD imager, the LAS 4000 or 4000 mini. 
For best results, remember to optimize exposure time. The stable signals let you take repeated exposures to achieve the best sensitivity. It is easy to get fantastic results with ECL Prime, like these. High sensitivity, broad dynamic range, and long lasting stable signals. Continue doing exactly as you do now and benefit from the real ECL heritage from which ECL Prime was developed. If you follow the tips and tricks in this step-by-step -step video, ECL Prime will give you results to dream about.